Greetings once again, heroes and villains out there. Dudes, Diz, Din, back again with My Hero Academia. Now, previously, we got to see live nude Higakure, which sent Twitter into a tizzy, as per usual, because Aoyama's abilities, his naval laser, seems to have leveled up to some degree, and its interaction with Hagakure's invisibility is causing a little bit of issues. My question is, could Hagakure always turn off her invisibility, or is this the first time she's actually seeing her own body? I have to wonder. I mean, it happened before, but she wasn't really too aware of it. Speaking of blowing a leveled up load, All Might's intense laser blast against All for One is pinning him down something fierce. And with the combination of Jiro's sound wave abilities, it's a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically kicking somebody while they're down. But naturally, with that much constant output, the laser was bound to just overheat, like a PC at the highest settings playing the highest specs game imaginable. But when All For One emerges from the flaming, burning hole that he was driven into, he appears as a glowing young man. Is he the glowing child of origin? The source of, well... I say source, but the very first notable quirk out there, that raises a lot of questions. And just the irony of the ultimate villain being the very first quirk user out there. It's like, I was the first, that means I should have all the quirks. Weird. Or did he just steal the ability? Because he just wanted the very first quirk notable quirk. Both entirely possible. But before Alt for One can go in on All Might, suddenly he's frozen in place. And who do we know who can freeze others in place? That's right, none other than Stain, whose nasty ass literally licks All for One's blood off of a rock that was splattered onto, which is just so unsanitary. But this causes All for One to be frozen in place, leaving him open to what Ever, All Might's final attack could be. And considering he's whipped out pretty much every quirk, well, analogous quirk technology basis that he had in his Hercules armored All Might suit, the only thing left is Bakugo's explosion quirk. And well, if you've seen Dragon Ball, explosion is usually not the final move you want to see used by anybody. So let's see how this battle potentially wraps up, shall we? We have All for One <laughs> smoking in a crater and glowing, and despite the immense amount of attacks he received, his modesty is still preserved. His pants are still on. All for one thinks, my body won't move. An income stain coming down like a katana wielding green goblin. Oh, by the way, this is My Hero Academia number 401, The Lunatic, which, oh, that is hilarious. Stain thinks to himself, I surmise the state of affairs from what the burned one and Ingenium were saying. Then, I only had to follow the path of destruction and collect a bloodstain sheltered from the rain and wind. Man, dang. You found that in all of that? Jeez. I mean, I guess that's a testament to how much they were probably bleeding. But was it all for one's blood or all might? Even mutilated, my nose is more than capable of identifying blood by scent. It told me all I needed to know. Wow. So that one encounter with All Might helped them be able to detect whose blood was whose. Jeez. Now that is some planning. And that stain in All Might rush in against All for One. Stain thinks, Ah, oh, All Might, surely you understand, yes? Why I would dare to leave the shadows and expose myself. Stain remembers his words to All Might. A hero can only claim that title as long as his soul burns fiercely in service of others. Say a god has fallen prostrate upon the earth, and his divine soul has turned feeble and mortal. Certainly he has the right to cling desperately to life. And All Might remembers these words, thinking, Yes, I get it, Stain. He then remembers Stain's words. Then come for the life of Stain, the man who murdered 40 heroes. And as Stain swings his sword to all for one's neck, Stain thinks, I am here because you must live. Ugh, what the hell? Suddenly, out of all for one's eyes and ears, goop just starts pouring out. It's forcible quirk activation. Bloodlet. 
Ugh. Ugh. A backup system? Freaky. All Might and Stain both think he expelled his own blood. All for one turns to say, Stain saying, Akaguro, I had a feeling you'd make some move of your own, so I was sure to hold this helpful quirk in reserve. Jeez, plans upon plans. Ever since that day at Tartarus, when you were the only one to spurn my takeover and flee on your own terms. Really? Stain licks at the blood splatter, saying blood is blood. Even outside of the bo- Ooh, he is suddenly grabbed by All For One. One of the growths coming out as a pair of teeth. All For One says, Fool! Antigen swap. Of course I can overwrite my own blood type. One of the secrets of my long rule was never leaving a trace of myself behind. Uh, makes enough sense. Ooh. And draining my own blood has put some pep back in my step. The mouth that has grown out of all for one clamps tight around stain, causing blood to spray from the jaws as they close in around stain. All Might cries out for stain, but all for one takes stain's body and flings it through several buildings. But all for one isn't done as he goes racing off towards stain. All Might can only look on saying stain's name in desperation. Breathing heavily, a stain's body lies limp halfway out the side of a building. All for one looms over him, floating above, saying, I'll be taking your blood, Colonel, now. Thinking back, you've made valuable contributions to the growth of the League, and by extension, Tomura is not wrong. But I'm afraid your role ended there, killer. All Might tries to go racing in, screaming out All For One's name. But Stain simply lifts his hand, saying, D didn't end. All part of the process, Demon Lord. Stain then turns to All Might, racing towards him to save him. And he thinks, I never benefited from higher education. It was you who taught me what a hero is. Live on, triumph, my everything, All Might. And with one blow, it seems as though All For One utterly destroys Stain. And just as All Might flies closer, All For One turns to him, getting ready to strike. But suddenly, the remaining parts of Hercules appear right in front of, well, right between All For One and All Might. All Might calls out, Hercules, you weren't totally scrapped. And Hercules says, one final shield. Oh, jeez. While Hercules tries to say you must live, it's cut off by a massive blast that knocks both of them away. Gee. A voice calls out in the whiteness. Toshinori, you can do it. Toshinori, a bloody, beaten and bruised All Might, vaguely awakens to Nana Shimura standing over him, saying, This tale still being written. You can do this, Toshinori. All Might thinks, Master, no, I'm hallucinating. This is just me giving myself a pep talk. Night Eye suddenly appears over him saying, Your support items, your legs, all you've been given, all rendered useless. You can fight no longer. However, you are not dead yet. <sighs> and a bloody, beaten, and battered All Might, who seems to be lit missing an arm, smiles yet again, trying to stand telling all for one do your worst as we see ua coming down in the background it means we know where they are they're close to the battle of their successors and as all for one starts to approach all might a voice calls out over some radio saying all for one is nearing tomura shigaraki He's within range to use his gloop warp. I gotta say, Stain went out trying to help out the one person he actually admired. Which, I mean, <laughs> I honestly don't feel bad if that's the end for Stain. Because he went out sticking to his beliefs. Never once did he compromise. Was he redeemed? No. And honestly, Stain didn't want to be redeemed because he never felt like he was in the wrong. Despite everything, even if even helping out with this, man was still going back to jail. But good on him for actually trying to help out towards the end. <sighs> so, my theory didn't come to pass because I thought that we were going to see some kind of final explosion. I am kind of bummed that I turned out to be wrong about that. <sighs> 
Hmm, huh. is that really it? I mean, All Might's still alive. Then again, those two coming to a potential end near their protégés, uh, it makes a bit of sense. I just wonder what's been going on with Deku and Shimura this entire time. I mean, Shigaraki. I'm, I'm not wrong about Shimura to a certain extent, but I really do wonder what happens next. I mean, All Might's still willing to try and fight, but what you got left, buddy? Unless you still got those embers of all for one for all still kicking about. Maybe just one more smash he's got in the tank at the expense of his body. We'll see. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I mean... Leave it to all for one to still have had some tricks left up its sleeve. But I'm curious, so curious how this is all going to come to an end. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next time, I've been Dudes This Then, and I hope to see you later. Take care. Bye bye <laughs>